In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Our Lady, Seat of Wisdom. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Lord's words today are a constant consolation for us in this world of tears in which we are given that strength to bear all with that knowledge that we have received a tremendous gift in our Lord's promise uh, of in, in his words of being in him and, uh, uh, and being one. And, and this, is the, <clears throat> this, explain, this helps us to understand the, the beautiful doctrine that through baptism we receive uh, the life of God into our soul, the indwelling of the Holy Trinity into our soul. And, uh, and in a special way, the Holy Spirit's role is constantly to give us his light, his guidance, to uh, uh, his guidance to help us in our earthly pilgrimage and to uh, remain uh, and to uh, give us that courage and strength to endure all things uh, on our earthly pilgrimage, on our journey home to heaven. And, and many of the saints would reflect upon this uh, in meditation, the indwelling of the Trinity and the gift we have received. And of course, when a child is baptized, a candle is lit, and that light of the candle symbolizes the light of God in the soul, the, that great gift of that light of God in the soul. Uh, Blessed Elizabeth of the Trinity once commented when her niece had been baptized that if she could have that day, she would have followed her niece around the whole time with a candle, just uh, uh, in, her, in her great awe that God was now in that child's soul. And it's something for us to ponder, uh, especially as we are preparing for the great solemnity of Pentecost, the, the attention uh, that uh, the attention, the love, the uh, devotion that we should have uh, of the Holy Spirit dwelling in our soul and, uh, and all his consolation and light and uh, above all his inspirations that he gives us in helping us to practice virtue, to turn away from sin and to, uh, and to, to think and reflect upon the things of heaven and, uh, and helping us in, in, grow, in our growth and transformation to become ever more conformed to Jesus. Today we celebrate, uh, we're uh, honoring in the liturgy Saint Leopold of Castelnovo, who's also known as uh, Saint Leopold Mandic. He was a uh, Franciscan friar who, who came from uh, a former Yugoslavia in the regions of uh, around uh, Croatia. Uh, and uh, he entered the Franciscans and was uh, sent to Italy, and he spent most of his religious life uh, in the city of Padua. And uh, he's only died recently. It was only shortly after World War II uh, that he that he that he passed that he died. Uh, but Leopold Mandic was uh, was known as the saint of the confession. He would spend uh, long hours in the confession, and in fact, his hand. Uh, his hand in which he gave the absolution is incorrupt, and it's visible in a glass case in, in Padua. I, I was privileged on one of my pilgrimages that I, uh, I led to visit his, his monastery and, uh, and, to, and to, to say Mass in, in the chapel where his body is and to venerate uh, his, uh, the hand. He was not, he was not very, very tall. He was for, for something, and there's pictures of him on a pilgrimage to Lourdes, and and uh, he in in the pilgrimage to Lourdes, uh, he he was he he was uh, about as tall as a young boy, and uh, and he had a he had a tremendous devotion to Our Lady, and I was have been reading about him recently, and he had actually plans uh, and notes. He was writing notes to write a book about Our Lady as co-redemptrix. He had a great love of Our Lady, and he believed. He truly had a great uh, devotion to her under the title of Corridentrix, and he had 
all, uh, he was developing a, a manuscript in order to promote and to explain what choridentrix meant and, uh, and had put all these notes together uh, to make a book, which was his intention. But sadly, after his death, this uh, did not come to completion and, uh, and the notes were, 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 not, were not kept. Uh, but, he, but this was his intention, it was to write a book on Our Lady's choridentrix. We can ask uh, uh, St. Leopold today to help us to prepare, 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 prepare for uh, Pentecost by uh, making a good confession. And this is one of the best ways we can prepare for Pentecost is to, uh, to purify and cleanse our souls uh, that we may receive an even greater outpouring uh, of the Holy Spirit and make ever greater effort to be united to him in his inspirations and to help us on our path in, in, uh, in rejecting sin and always being faithful to what God is calling to us in our, in our walk with Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.